So, it's grumpy time. Uh, something's been really pissing me off lately, and I figured I'd get on here and talk about it. Instead of, you know, just bottling it up inside and my heart turning to stone, even though it's already stone. But, um, instead of, you know, my usual happy commentary, intellectual commentary, this is going to be me being a bit grumpy grump. Um, so, in case you can tell from the video, this is going to, or from the video title, this is going to be about online surveys. So, this is really cool idea I had a little while back, is I wanted to do some of these online survey things, so can I can get some extra money on the side. Well, the downside to these, among many, is it's not a real way to get any type of real money, and nine times out of ten, they flat out don't work. So, first problem is the point conversion. So almost all of the online survey resources you can do, whether it's Survey Depot, Ebates, eRewards from Best Buy, Big Spot, whatever of the many that you sign up for, almost all of them use a point system. And then it converts the points into dollars at a certain amount to allow you to cash out. While this sounds great in theory, when you actually start to get into it, you realize that you're really only getting roughly 5 to 10 points per survey when it costs 100 to cash out to get $5. And the math is a little different for every service, but they all average to be about the same. So, this means that you're having to take so many surveys to equal out any type of usable money that it really does not make sense to use your time for that. So, the next problem is the time these surveys take. If you are a fast computer user, like I am, then these surveys can take on the minimum about 10 to 15 minutes to take. Some a little bit more depending on the amount of questions. If you are a normal or novice computer user, these can take up to 35 to 40 minutes to do. So, that presents the problem of the time consumption for the little amount of reward you get. Next problem is the reward itself. So, say you go to sign up for one of these things and you're excited and you fill on all your information and you go to do some of these surveys. Well, you sign up for the survey because it the survey thinks that because of the questions you filled out when you signed up that you will be perfect for this survey until you go to actually take it. Once you go to actually take that survey and you fill out the beginning questions about how, you know, it's like, oh, in the past 12 months, have you purchased this, this, or this? In the past 12 months, have you eaten these type of foods, drinking this type of alcohol? those kind of simplistic generalized questions that narrow down the field of participants and so far this is based on personal experience and experience that I've gotten from a few friends that have done it too is 99% of the time they do not meet the requirements for this survey so generally what will happen is if you don't meet the requirements you will then go and be taken to a another another page that says you know we're really sorry you don't qualify for the survey or you're not in our target audience that we want to see or some other nice polite generic crap that they feed you to tell you guess what you didn't answer right or you didn't lie well enough for this uh, survey and then you get like some mediocre like admission attendance award style participation prize amount of points that accumulate to nothing and it's really aggravating because you go say you sit down for an hour do one or two of these you've made it through six surveys gotten declined for all of them and have almost nothing to show for it and some of them I know Survey Depot does and so does e rewards from Best Buy. They go, hey, look, we know you didn't get to take the survey, but here's some little minuscule amount of points. 
and we've entered you in our weekly contest, which you think that's great, until you realize that the weekly contest is either for A, stuff you don't want or don't need, or B, you can't find out any information on it, and you're most likely never going to win in the first place. So that is the next big problem. The third or fourth, I've lost count because this is pissing me off, a uh, big problem with them is it feels really dodgy when you sign up for, say, Survey Depot, and then you never see their name again on any of the surveys you take. And while, yes, I know Survey Depot serves as a middleman for all these other research aff uh, affiliations and research uh, organizations, it's really weird when you're clicking through a survey, and in one survey you've seen four different company names. So, advertising and branding is another issue with these. The last and final issue is the reward system. And not to reiterate the problem with the lack of ability to cash out for any awards, the only one that's ever done any reward system right has been the e-rewards from Best Buy, and that's because you can turn it into Best Buy gift cards. Everyone else is for like hotel gift cards or magazine subscriptions or other pointless achievements that are not only hard to obtain, but when you get them, you put in so much effort that it no longer matters, or you could have spent that time working at a job and get much more than the time you spent sitting on your butt filling out a survey. So that's been my little soapbox spiel. Um, I'm glad I was able to get on here and talk about it. Uh, once again, um, thank you to everyone who watches these videos. The gameplay in the back is Goat Simulator. Uh, it's resurfaced recently, which makes me happy. I love the game. Um, and it's I'm really happy that it's resurfaced because I know there's a new DLC that just came out. The Goat MMO, which is a lot of fun. I've been playing a little bit of it. I might try to live stream it if I have the set up or if I, you know, can get everything working. If not, I'll probably do some videos with it after I play with it. So, until next time, it's been the facial hair, and I hope you have a wonderful day.